Hey, it's Lisa and I'm always cooking. And today I am participating in a sandwich collaboration hosted by Sarah at Home Sweet Homes. I will link all of the details in the description box below. Since I live in Chicago, my sandwich recommendation is obviously an Italian beef sandwich. Now, I am going to label this in a um, a home style Italian beef. I will also give you three different ways to cook it depending on what your schedule for the day looks like. So come along with me and enjoy a Chicago style home style Italian beef sandwich. I have just shy of four pounds of chuck roast. Two pounds will easily feed a family of four. I am going to double that and throw half of it in the freezer when I'm done cooking it for another meal. This is also the English cut of chuck roast, which I feel is a little bit leaner than regular chuck roast, but a regular chuck roast will work just fine. Garlic, as much or as little as you want. I have six or seven cloves of garlic here. A medium sized onion, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and some beef broth. Cut the onion from pole to pole into half moon slices. Then smash the garlic with the back of your knife and peel off the papery skins. Next, trim any extra fat from the roast. Choose your own adventure. You can use the Instant Pot, the Crock Pot, or the oven. Today I will be using Place the onions in the bottom of the pot and then place the meat on top of the onions. Season the meat with a half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Add in the garlic and then flip the meat over to make sure all of the seasonings are tucked underneath the meat. Regardless of which cooking vessel you are using, you want to use one cup of beef broth. And basically what I want to do is just cover up the onions underneath the roast. With the exception of the Instant Pot, we will get a nice Maillard reaction as long as the meat isn't completely submerged in the beef broth. The beef will cook in the crock pot on high for four to five hours on low for eight to 10 hours, in the Instant Pot on high pressure for 90 minutes, or in the oven at 325 degrees with the lid on the Dutch oven for two and a half to three hours. You'll know when the beef is ready when you can take two forks and shred the meat. Look at that Maillard reaction. Look at how brown the meat stayed when it wasn't submerged beneath the broth. I mean, it's like we browned the meat before we started but we didn't. Gently remove the roast from the pot. Gently, because it is fall apart delicious. Now that you have the meat out of the gravy, you can strain the gravy if you want. I am not going to. I love all of those bits of onion and garlic in my gravy. You can use two forks to shred the beef. I'm going to just break it up slightly to cool it off just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back in and skim the fat off of the gravy. There's just a little bit on there. Before I go back and shred the beef into bite-sized pieces with my fingers. Discarding any extra fat or gristle I find. Make sure it's nice and warm back in the gravy and taste for seasoning. Let's go over the proper accoutrements. These are French rolls. Actually, these are Bambino rolls. You'll need provolone cheese or mozzarella cheese. I have hot jardinier for my husband. Here are the sweet peppers. Uh, we don't do green peppers, but these are red, orange, and yellow peppers sliced up and sauteed on my stovetop with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I have another milder traditional jardinier with the um, cauliflower and carrots in there. And then last but not least is a bowl for your gravy to dip your sandwich in. And here we are, child size sandwich, husband size sandwich with extra jardinier. Make sure you try this winner winner Chicago Italian beef dinner. Thanks for watching.